Maxwell, you just mentioned a few minutes ago that you're uh, going to hang on to those hearts figures because you use them in your show and you're never going to retire. So <laughs> where do you envision yourself? Uh, where wh You've done almost everything. You've opened, you've done corporate events, you've done fairs, you've done churches, you've done family shows, kids shows, adults. What do you envision? What do you want to do uh, within the next 10 years? Um. I mean, I love making people laugh. I, that, that's my whole passion. I mean, I know that when people are laughing, they're not thinking about anything else. Uh, and I know that laughter is, is good for us health-wise. I know that it releases endorphins that help, help us to heal. And I, that's why I always do it. I mean, I love watching people laugh. But as far as my career and what I do, I know that I'll, be, I'll probably still be doing the corporate gigs. And and markets change. You have to you have to change your marketing strategy along with your act. Uh, I know I've had to do that, especially in the last ten years. Uh, go after different venues and go after different marketing styles, and and especially with with the internet and social media and all, you have to adapt. Um, and I'll I'll keep doing the types of shows that I'm doing as long as I. I mean, I love watching people laugh. And I guess the demographics get older as I get older, so. So it might be it might be a few more cruise ships. I don't know. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Where, wherever you can get in front of an audience. Wherever you, yes, sir. That's right. It's it's like uh, I think Jay Johnson said he was taught you always do whatever show whenever sh you can do it. Mm -hmm. You do every show you can pos possibly do, and that's about the truth. Mm -hmm. That's about the truth. You do. I mean, I love doing ventriloquism and love watching watching people laugh. Before I let you go, though, uh, are you planning on going to convention anytime soon? I'm planning on being there this year if I can work my schedule out and, and get in there in time. Uh, if not, I might come in the, a, a day or two after, okay. this, after the start. Okay. Well, if you do get by, I will be there. Um, I'm on the uh, the sound and tech crew and uh, would love to see you, would love to hang out with you, grab lunch or dinner, whatever we have a chance to do, because uh, it's always fun sitting down and talking to you. It is. Yeah, great. So I'm going to end the video right here. I want to thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. That was Steve Brogan. And uh, Steve, you have a video on DVD, correct? I do. I okay. do. Okay. You can uh, purchase we'll it on the website. Fantastic. We'll have a link to that below. So everybody check out Steve's DVD. Show him a little love. <laughs> Send him a little money so he can, when they retire, <laughs> he won't do it anyway. But again, thanks, Steve. Take care. It was great talking to you. Thank you, Tom. I enjoyed it. Always good to see you and talk with you.